Hi everybody, welcome, welcome. This is uh, part two of the videos going over this week's assignment. Uh, in the last video, we went over how to open up the document on Jupyter and how to make a copy as well as turn it in online. You guys should be quite familiar with that because we've been doing that for over six months for sixth graders and almost, almost wow, 14 months for the seventh graders. So it should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be going over your constructed response outline. This week, you guys are going to be making constructed responses to this question, which is how did Ashoka unify the Mauryan Empire? We read that last week when we looked at pages 188 and 190. Uh, so you have two options. You could do either option one or option two. Option one is a three paragraph response to this question here that includes an introduction, a claim, supporting evidence, and mention of impact to this in history, which is worth up to 50 out of 50. If you feel like, you know, the three paragraph is a little bit out of your range because you're not familiar or you just you know, aren't confident yet, uh, there's the option for the one paragraph response to this same question. You still will need an introduction, claim, supporting evidence, and a mention of impact, but it's uh, a lot less in detail, which means that the highest score you can get is a 42 out of 50. Honestly, I really encourage that you all go for the first one, but I do understand if you feel like the second one is more where you're at. Uh, please remember that this must be in your own words, and if you copy it from the textbook, other learners, or even online sources, that could be a zero out of 50. I've already read one so far that had direct quotes from Wikipedia that were not mentioned or cited, which uh, would result in a zero out of 50, so please keep that in mind. Now, this is option one right here. And here I have an outline of the three paragraphs. So again, you want, this needs to be a three paragraph response to this question. Paragraph one is your introduction and your claim. Before you answer the question of how Ashoka unified the Mauryan Empire, you want to start by telling your audience what was ancient India like before it was unified and then explain how Ashoka was able to unify it. So questions one through three focus on setting up some background information the first one is what was ancient India like before the Mauryan Empire? Uh, if you forgot this, this is where it's in your reading packet from last week, but this is paragraph one on page 162 in the purple textbook. And here, you know, you're just going to be talking about how diverse India was, how it wasn't really a place where there was unified empires. It was largely many small kingdoms fighting for power. Uh, it's not until Chandragupta creates the first empire, and so here you mention how he was able to do that, which again, here's the page numbers here. And then you talk about Ashoka, who was Chandragupta's grandson, uh, who was able to not only take up this empire that was created by his grandfather, but expand it. So in this one, you're going to mention, like, you know, who was, Chand who was Ashoka in relationship to Chandragupta? And then here is where you'll be presenting your answer to the question. How did he bring the Mauryan Empire together? This question isn't so much about how he expanded it, right? But instead, how did he create a empire with a unified culture and identity? And in this sort of place, you should be talking about how Buddhism was a central unifying force in his empire. Okay, so that's paragraph one. So you're going to write in your answers, and then when you're done you'll place it here in the final draft you'll just copy just the response you won't copy the whole question down you'll paste it down here paragraph two is your specific evidence you know you want to introduce and analyze specific evidence from Ashoka's edicts that support your claim you know so I have three questions for you to consider how did Ashoka use his edicts to spread Buddhist values again you'll find the answer to this on paragraph one on page 164 I've even included a transition for you to start, so you could literally just start typing here. The first action Ashoka did to help unify his empire was create edicts, and then just please finish this sentence. Then introduce your specific edict uh, that you're going to be using for, for specific evidence. You can find the edicts here at this link, which will open up in just a minute. I even have a little structure for how you introduce information. So you'll say, for example, one of Ashoka's edicts declared, and then you'll insert your quote there, and here are the different edicts that you can choose from as evidence. Uh, and you want to pick an edict that supports this idea of these edicts encouraging people to come together and have a shared sense of identity. And then you want to analyze your evidence. So once you've presented your evidence here, then you want to explain how this actually helped bring people together. So if you're talking about one of his edicts, that discusses 
uh, planting trees and you know making sure everybody has access to water you might explain how that helps create a unified sort of empire or you know community so there's a lot of options here for that okay and then I even have a structure as this edict illustrates and then you write in which goal did this edict promote by goals I'm talking about did it promote Buddhist values general welfare justice or security in the Empire and then which unified people by and then this is where you explain and finally in the third paragraph how has the Ashoka's unification of ancient India ancient India continued to affect history afterwards two questions to consider what happened to Ashoka's Empire after he died you know it wasn't the most successful long-lasting Empire but he did have a very long-lasting legacy that is covered and we stressed it extensively but it's one of the reasons why Buddhism is such a large religion once you're done with the outlines you'll paste your final response here option two is literally the same question it's almost the exact same questions from above but as you'll see rather than answering nine different questions you're only answering five questions in a single paragraph meaning you're going to go into less detail which means that the point value has lowered by eight in total so do whichever one you think you're more comfortable with remember that you're doing option one or option you know two one or two don't do them both and if you have any questions please let me know uh, i'll be available via email again this is going to be due on monday it's worth 50 points and it's a quiz grade so i recommend that you edit your work edit it multiple times read it polish it up and then submit it on jupiter i'll have grades posted by probably next friday and expect to hear more updates from me okay hope you guys have great weeks and uh, i'm going to sign off